Hey, what's going on, family? New day, new beginnings. Um, before we get started, can you hit the like button, share button, thumbs up button, subscribe button? Help me to enhance the message throughout the various social media platforms. Um, what I want to get into briefly is um, this whole Me Too movement and the way they're trying to emasculate um, African American men, black men. Um, let me start off saying this. Tarana Burke, when she first started it, the Me Too movement, she had a, a meaning, a purpose, you know, was to help inner city young black girls and women with sexual assault. Basically, like I said before, it got hijacked. It got hijacked by Becky. And by Becky hijacking it, it created this whole narrative that black men are only all the only sexual predators. We all know that's not true. We all know not on a daily basis, but we all know that it's more mainly Caucasian men that's in the news about sexual assault. From Hollywood execs, you understand, you understand to the Catholic Church. And it, it amazes me how she allowed it to be hijacked. And when I say hijacked, I mean taken over. How soft can you be? I mean, not soft, but how much money do they throw in front of you? In order for that for this hijacking to take place. I mean, I'm all for it. You understand? We all have our our numbers. You understand? We all have our numbers. But you use it you, you lose your dignity in the process. So by you allowing this to be hijacked, by you allowing them to change the, the narrative, what that show what, what that tells you, what that say a lot more about you. And, and that's the sad part about it. And there's always a, our people who are kin folks that do this to us. And that's the sad. And that and that's like I said, it's the sad part about it. But it's also it's hurtful. And by it being hurtful, everything that's going on now with this Me Too whole Me Too thing, trying to make black masculinity the face of it. You know what I'm saying? Toxic, max. You know why do that? I'm a man. I was born a man. I was raised as a man. I'm not toxic. And y you're allowing this whole agenda to be focused on black men. Just because you are hurt by black men. That hurt that you're feeling shouldn't define all of us. But you're allowing it to, and you're allowing people who have no business in your agenda that you started. But you allowed it. Therefore, you're part of the problem. And just because they have some black men out there who have solutions to the problem, who are defending us black men you and your flunkies is taking that as an issue I see social media I see the publications how you're attacking 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 Tariq Nasheed he's the main one you're attacking and all other brothers who stand up for themselves even sisters know the whole me too movement is bullshit if the Me Too move was, was official, what happened to that little girl that got punched and knocked the fuck out by that white guy? What happened to them four girls who got strip, um, strip shirts in school? What the fuck was Me Too then? And this is the bullshit. Women know the Me Too movement is full of shit. They all know. You understand? Because y'all claim y'all for our women, but when shit happened to African American young ladies or older women, y'all silent. How is that possible? How is that possible? People know your ugly ass face is the face of the Me Too movement. But people know who's in back of it.
And it's people like you that give black people a bad fucking name. Because you have no guts. You're gutless. They got brothers out there who are take up for you, sisters out there who are take up for you. But all you do is turn your back. And this is not only about you. This is about all them fucking publications who are doing the same thing. Who want to degrade the black man. Yeah, why not R. Kelly? R. Kelly doing better off now. Before that whole docu series came out. Yeah, why not Bill Cosby? Over bullshit. Yeah, got Bill Cosby. But like I said. You land all these movie as X. Run rampant. Nothing's done. Little girls getting knocked out. Older women getting knocked out. Elderly women getting dealt with. And Me Too movement is never there. You know how much it hurts me right now to be coming at you? And I don't want to do that. But after a while, there's so much you can take. Because life is common sense. And you're allowing this to be done. And then you got this this big, swollen motherfucker, Terry Crews, in that new dumbass fucking commercial, Me Too commercial. Everybody go look that shit up. Google it and look it up. This man is a fucking embarrassment, man. A fucking embarrassment to men. Since when being a man, toxic. Like, what? It makes you wonder... Where we come as, come as a society. But like I said, there's some brothers and sisters who were not allow, who are not allowing the bullshit to take place. That's why the hashtag first them is kicking me to ass. Because people are smart now. Social media changed the game on everybody. You can't vilify people like that anymore. Because people have a platform. People know what's going on. Little kids know what's going on. I'm cool with everybody. I have no issue with everybody. But like I said, it doesn't speak for the majority of people that things are occurring with. The problem in life is that it has a lot of people who want to see people do well. That's their agenda. They don't want to see people do well. And just because you stand up for something, something that's right, something that's purpose, doesn't mean you're wrong. You just have a different view. But after a while... When people notice you're wrong, your view is totally bullshit and your agenda is bullshit. And that's something we all understand as a society. There's no more fooling people. There's no more fooling people. If me doing videos would disrupt my friendship, well, my black friends, Hispanic friends, Asian friends, white friends, so be it. But why vilify me for doing what's right? If you was doing something right, I'm not going to vilify you. If you're doing something wrong, I'm going to tell you to oh, fuck yourself. Because that's wrong. Excuse my language, but like I said, I'm passionate because I don't want to come at this woman. I don't want to come at the other woman that doing things right. I don't want to do that. But after a while, you get so tired of people making black men the face of hatred. To my gay bros out there, we don't fucking hate you. We don't hate you. We're just trying to give you. We, we're trying to give you game. We're trying to teach you. Disembark from a fucking agenda. Start your own agenda the right way. 
the more you associate with their agenda, the less you become as a group. Because you got to notice on these feminists don't care nothing about you. The, the, these corporations, all these agendas don't care nothing about you. They just want to put a face there to represent the foolishness they're doing and the wickedness they're doing in the background. My platform not popping, but as a person, I know what I have within me. I fight for those who want to be fought for. Because at the end of the day, we have some brothers and sisters who have guts. Don't care who we cool with, we have guts. We're going to say what we feel. We're going to say what we see, what is right and what is wrong. But we have too much division within black society. We got the coons and we got the goons. The coons survive by fucking sucking ass, spreading their butt cheeks, and getting on their knees. The goons survive by telling you go screw yourself. I'm a man, I'm a woman, and I'm not doing certain things to further my career, further my life. And this is something we got to teach our kids. Teach our kids what's right, what's wrong. You show them what's right and what's wrong. Because no one gives a fuck about them. Even people in our own environment don't give a fuck about them. Our own families don't give a fuck about them. And we got to teach them how to... How, how, we got to teach them how to spot that. It may come with experience. Yeah, that's factual. But we got to talk to them and show them. Not every friend is your friend. Not every family member is your family member. Like I said, I ain't want to come at this woman tonight, man. But I'm just fucking tired of her, man. I'm just tired of her coming at black men. Especially what she said is not her job to go after white men. Last time I checked, they're predators too. More so than black men. And that tells you what she thinks about a black man and what she thinks about herself. Everybody, like I said before, hit the like and share button, subscribe button, thumbs up button. I ain't want to do it, but I'm just fed up. I'm just totally fed up with her. You know, I'm just fed up with the whole fucking bullshit movement because everybody knows it's full of shit. The family, like I said, new day, new beginnings. And I'll talk to you next time. Love y'all.